In today's tutorial, I'll show you how you can create this kind of transitions pretty quickly using After Effects. So we're gonna create a lot of variations here, and I will also include some of these pre-rendered in the description in case you just wanna use them, but let's go ahead and start making them. So let's go ahead and add solid, and I'll be using element, so we'll call this element, and we'll add element 3D to this layer. We'll go into the scene setup, and on your starter pack, you actually have something called Floor Fracture, which is just a pre-fractured object of this small box. And I'm gonna rotate it on the x-axis like so, and scale this up a bit. Then I'm gonna scale this down on the y-axis, so it's thin, kind of like glass, and this should be all right. The colors don't really matter for this one, and we can hit OK. I'll go into my group one, particle look, and just increase the size of the object. Okay, and I'm gonna turn multi-object on. Cool, let's go back into the scene setup and I'm actually gonna duplicate this group one here. So right click, duplicate and set this to group number two. And now I'm just gonna go down here under group one, copy paste, I'm gonna select copy and paste it onto my group two. So basically we copied the exact same settings from group one onto group two. Now, if I go into group two, for example, and change some of the settings around on my multi objects, like the rotation random, and maybe set the size to zero, make sure you're under the multi object size and not the particle size. And basically we just set two variations of the same object. So what we can do is go into animation engine and we're gonna enable it. So now once I set my animation keyframe here, and let's go to about here, set this to hundred, and play this back, you can see we're getting this kind of cool transition of our screen. Now, if we go down here into the smoothness, maybe set it to 30, and this basically just makes the transition sharper, I guess you can say. So the more we increase it, the more it sort of feathers it out and spreads towards the screen. I usually like to go with something like 30. And the cool thing about this is we can go into the directional options here, and by controlling the vertical here, we can set it to 90 and now we got the transition going from top to bottom or whatever you want to. We can also set it to a radial transition. So now it starts from the center and we can also go down here into the radial options and change it from outwards to inwards and it does exactly that. So this is our basic transition and now we can use some footage. For example, let me drag these two clips here and I'm gonna set one of them to be a track mat to my element layer. So now once I play this back, you can see that the second clip transitions with the element layer overlaid on top. Now the only option you wanna turn on here is maybe go down into the render settings and select motion blur and set it to on. So that just makes the transition smoother. Obviously this is what we want. And we can also go into our element layer, right click it, layer styles and select drop shadow just so we have a bit of an edge on our transition and we can go ahead and increase this as well. Now since we know how to create the base transition we can go ahead and start changing the objects that it's made of. So for example I've got this hexagon image here and what I can do is go into layer, auto trace and make sure it's set to alpha and now I just got this mask around it. So if I go into element here under my costume layers I can set it as a costume text and mask here. So I'll select it under path number one. Let's go into element now and extrude it. Now we've got this object here in 3D. Scale this down a bit, actually by a lot since we do wanna fill up the screen with these. And I'll make it thinner like so. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky since we are trying to make this completely inside After Effects, at least using element. So what I like to do is go into front view and I'll simply start duplicating this. So control D, move it over here. And we're just gonna create a few of these duplicates. Now we can go ahead and select all three of them by holding down shift, duplicate them again. Now, obviously this can take a while. And what I like to do is create a new group and I'll just drag this group folder one here into the new one we created. And now by selecting the folder, I can basically control all of these. So I'll duplicate the whole folder move this around here and we can place it here. Now I'll select these two groups, move them around here. Okay, so this might take a little while to set it up, 
but once you're done it's basically complete so let's move this a bit here to the center and place it here now we'll do the same exact thing so I'll duplicate this whole group layer and set it to group number two hit OK let's disable the animation engine from before and I'll just set the group one here maybe place it around the center and we'll do the exact same thing so I'll copy group number one onto group number two and under group two let's change up some of these settings and maybe the size as well enable back the animation engine and just like that we've created a transition using these hexagons obviously you need to create more of these in order to have more detail so i hope you found this tutorial useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one